Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, when you play in a 3-5-2 formation, the position of the wing-backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre-backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield, Diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. And this confrontation is underway. Really a very poor ball. And played in. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Max Kilman. Moving into the advanced position. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Anderson. Klein. A fine use of the ball. Electing to cross into the centre. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. standing at 2-0 Mateus Cunha and Wolves in a position of menace and gobbled up with ease by the keeper when they win the ball back it's been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far more defending for them to do here though and they could get one back here good pressure high up the pitch and oh it's in we cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, let's look at that again. I'm almost lost for words here, Derek. It's really sloppy defending. You can't be giving the ball away in such a dangerous area like that and not expect to get punished. It's just really poor. And how well the keeper did. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal.
will certainly be happy going in at half time. Jean Philippe Mateta. Hughes. He's got to score. Oh, blocked it. Mateus Cunha. Promising looking attack. Chance to play it in. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. So the corner played into the box. And an effective clearance. Sarabia. No more time left. That will conclude the first half here at Molyneux. And so the ball rolling again after what was a dazzling first 45 showing from Palace. Are we in for more of the same in the second half? Beautifully disguised ball. Opportunity. Well, going for power, but what can you say about it, really? Not great. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. It should be! And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Now can they counter clinically? Will it be sufficiently imaginative? They're making high pressing work for them here. Hughes. chance surely well from that position he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper Jean Wittner Bellegarde Wolves might be able to cash in from here well this would help them get back into the game was an important piece of defending Matt Doherty. Nelson Semedo. And that will be all for this game. It goes into the history books as a victory for Crystal Palace. How would you sum this up?